Dennis Allen, new coach of the New Orleans Saints, said that Taysom Hill will be focusing on the tight end position in 2022. His main benefactor is gone in Sean Payton. Remember, he did that contract last year that was mm. hyped and pay up to this and up to that. It's all premised on him playing quarterback and playing quarterback at a high level. So that ship sails now for Taysom Hill. He's going to get paid like a tight end. He's settling into that that area of expertise and uh, uh, he's going to get paid accordingly. He's still got a role and I still think he could be very important to that team, but Agreed. it just never, it never clicked and it never happened. And I, and I don't know why, because in that playoff game against the Vikings, he was phenomenal and they never really fully embraced him in that role ever after that ever again, where they used him that kind of way, but they never go all in. They've never, I've never felt like they've gone all in with them the way they should. No, I, you know, it, it doesn't seem that way. Uh, I always thought there was some potential for the player, too. I had the same feeling you did uh, two years ago when Breeze got hurt. I mean, what'd they do, go 3-1 and one or 4-1 and one with him? He, made some, uh, he had played some really good games in that little stretch, too. Last year, uh, I think what, what hurt it more than anything is then he hurt his finger early on when he finally did get a chance to play, and then it didn't look great there. You know, we had a lot of throws where we're like, oh, that's not good enough, whatever. So it feels like it's been squashed. I don't necessarily think he's going to be happy about that. Anybody you talk to around the Saints or knowing anything about them the last few years is going to tell you that uh, Taysom Hill loves quarterback. You know, I, I mean, I, Drew Brees, before the year started, he always would say even like, oh, I feel like Taysom's heart is at quarterback. He really wants to give that a go. So I'm, sh so I'm sure he doesn't love this, but – um, mm, this is going to be interesting career point right here for Taysom Hill. He might have to make a, a real decision on, on one or the other. Yeah, not a consideration at quarterback yeah. this season. And he has said time and again he wants to play quarterback. And I wonder if at some level he's feeling like maybe he – he got set up a little bit with that contract he did last year. You know, maybe Peyton knew he was leaving. He signs a, a contract that pays him very differently, whether he's a quarterback or a non-quarterback. And now here comes new coaching staff and they make him a non-quarterback. I don't know how long that contract goes. I'm going to have to do a little research on this. But uh, and, and see, by the time he gets free from that contract, he's going to be, what, 33, 34 it's just a shame. He never really got an opportunity in New Orleans, and he's going to be too old to get an opportunity anywhere else. Probably. Yeah, probably is going to be. And, uh, and you know, nonetheless, he can make a good career being that tight end, H-back, Kyle Juszczyk kind of guy for the 49ers, coming out of the backfield, you know, getting a few catches in the flat, vertical up the seam. Hey, here's a handoff. Here's a little speed sweep, whatever. Uh, he's got a tremendous skill set to where he could still have a great effect on that offense. Finally, Cam Newton tells Shefty, I have teams that are interested in signing me. I am waiting on the best fit as it pertains to winning a championship and getting a fair chance to play. Those are high goals for a guy that most teams would look at and say the window is closed on him. He has no chance of being regarded as a starting quarterback, at least from what I've seen. I don't understand. I don't even think that's possible. You know, it, it's go somewhere and maybe be the best backup you can be and, and try to choose it through that route. But I can't imagine Hard any to team do. signing him as a starter. Hard to do because when Cam Newton shows up, all those guys who grew I up know. idolizing Cam Newton start gravitating toward him. You need a franchise quarterback who is very secure in his position. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.